In this video, you are going to learn what is eigenvalue and the eigenvector. Look at this equation here, and note that x is in the right and left side. x is this vector here, 1 and 2, that is the red arrow here. If you have x in both sides of the equation, a has to be equal lambda, but a is this matrix here 2 by 2, and the lambda is scalar, in this example the number 3. Therefore, you are claiming that this quadratic matrix A has the same function of a scalar 3. If you multiply the vector x by 3, we get 3, 6. This vector with coordinates 3 and 6 is represented by this blue arrow here in the graphic. You also can get this number here, 3, if you multiply this row here and this column. In the number 6, if you multiply the second row here and this column. It's just that it's easy, rather than use this matrix here, just use the eigenvalue equal 3. When this equation is true, we call x eigenvector of a and the, this scalar eigenvalue of a. See that the word eigen is a German word that means property or characteristic, that means is a property or a characteristic of the matrix A. Suppose we have an eigenvalue minus half. What would be the graphic? This would be the chart of eigenvalue minus half. See that the original vector is this red arrow. If you multiply the original vector by minus half, you change the direction by 180 degree and you decrease the magnitude in a half. That's why the blue arrow is half of the red arrow.